Hey guys, this is RL from mountainbikeriders.com. Today's Thursday tech tip. We're going to take Priscilla's bike and we're going to uh, remove the uh, V-brake system on there and replace it with some Avid mechanical disc brakes. Okay, welcome back. Now, I've already removed her front wheel and actually her rear wheel also. And we're going to be installing some rotors. And these are Avid rotors. And then, the you know, important thing on this is that you're going to have to use a special uh, tool. This is a like a Torx head, you know, wrench or whatever you want to call it. Get these at anywhere. I mean, hardware store, automotive store, um, Home Depot is pr probably the best place to get them, or any type of uh, um, online retailer for bicycle tools like PricePoint.com, Jensen, and so forth. So what you're going to do is uh, place your rotor. See how there's a writing on this side of the rotor, not on the other side. You're going to place the writing face out. So basically just like this, line it up to the holes and you're going to take your rotor bolts and screw it in one at a time. And when you screw it in, you're going to make sure you do a cross pattern. So you start from here and then you're going to move across over here. Then you put one here and here and then here and there. So do that for both wheels. And then once we get going on these, we'll go ahead and mount the calipers. And from there, we're going to install the cables, okay? Okay, I've installed both of the rotors on the wheels. Now we're going to shift our focus over to the uh, V-brakes. And uh, basically what I'm going to do is take a 5 millimeter Allen and turn these counterclockwise all the way around like this. And I'm going to do this until it comes off. Do it for both sides. We're also going to do the fork. Okay, now I've removed the uh, V-brakes, actually one's still kind of hanging right here. Now you got these ugly bosses that are kind of sticking out. If you have a choice, you need to remove them. It's usually a 9mm uh, wrench you can put on here and then you screw it all the way out. But I've had a lot of bad luck with these things, so instead of taking them out, for now I'm just going to put these caps on. Okay, Makes it a little bit more appealing and if Priscilla were ever put her leg on it, it's not going to hurt too bad. Okay, now we're going to mount the rear caliper and um, got some mounting bolts here and uh, some washers and when you mount this just remember this is where your cable enters from so make sure you mount it like this and you're going to install this with the bracket behind the tabs okay. Okay now we're going to remove these V-brakes and same thing 5 millimeter Allen just loosen everything. Okay, now we're going to install the front caliper and what you're going to do is put the uh, caliper behind the tabs again put the screws in and the same thing you just uh, you know install it down here too and then loosen the uh, bolts up here for uh, to get that um, dialed in for later okay okay the next step is to measure the uh, cable housing and I'm using a, uh, a specialized silk braided cable housing and what you do is you just take a measurement between the starting point of your uh, of your uh, brake lever all the way down to your caliper and then cut your... Okay, cable. now I'm ready to uh, mount the wheels because I've uh, installed both calipers. The uh, the front down here ran my cables pretty clean, silk braided right here. And I'm just going to snap these in right here. Install the, uh, the wheels. I'm going to adjust the, the brakes. Go for a test ride and that's about it.